Hello, hola, bonjour. Tune in every Tuesday to the Dear God Podcast. ¿Y qué pasó? Nah, we talking like it's 1995. <laughs> Let go of that Wi-Fi. Let's laugh and cry. But never say goodbye. Primos y primas, que lo que, and welcome. Bienvenidos to the Dear God, are we there yet? The podcast con tu prima favorita. Soy Alicia Sanchez, and yes, this podcast is bilingual. I would a dear God in this context, and whatever you want it to be, it can be God, religious God, Buddha, self nature, lo que sea para ti. Dear God, are we there yet? It's a lifestyle community of question seekers. The goal is simple to empower thought provoking conversations, share happiness, and encourage each of us to never stop asking questions and having conversations that matter. Don't forget to check out this YouTube channel where I talk about self growth, budgets, and business, and passion to empower. Ahora vamos a hablar like it's 1995 and just don't forget to check out that we have some dear god are we there yet po podcast swag well it's not just podcast swag it's branding swag we got awesome tees and onesies and on the website so check it out and my first IRL I'll be in Delray in October that is just an informal little meetup that we just want to talk like it's 1995 I want to see I want to talk to the community I want to get into the communities and I'm starting with Delray Beach so I hope you guys can meet me there October 26th, and the link is in the bio. All right, let's go to our podcast for today. Hey, you guys, primos y primas. Welcome to the Dear God, Are We There Yet? Are we? It's that way. It's that way. I want to say thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I actually have been, I don't know, I, I've been thinking about if should I take a break, get some new content, schedule some new, um, you know, guests and kind of regroup the podcast and making sure it's exactly what I want and um, but again how do we know what exactly what we want I mean I don't want to monitor anyone who comes on the show or monitor the content too much where it's not natural right because then what's the point of the podcast so I don't know I've been just doing a lot of thinking about how to um, make this podcast amazing um, and for, so I, before anything, before I want to talk about anything today, uh, I'm going to say thank you again. I keep saying muchisima gracia, muchisima gracia, muchisima gracia. But honestly, for real, thank you so much, you guys, for the people that actually listen to the podcast or download the podcast. It, it blows my mind because um, I feel like sometimes I'm talking in the air, like estoy hablando en, en el cielo, literally, um, to the cloud. And... Um, and I'm telling myself, wow, you know, if even if one person listens to this, five people, 20 people, 30 people, whatever, 100 people, like all the listens that I see on my um, and, you know, my little analytical part they give you, I'm just so grateful. And so I want to say thank you. I'm trying my best and I'm going to try to bring the best content or the best conversations. And what I need most is you. So if you want to be on the show, we can talk about anything and everything under the sun. The Dear God Are We There Yet is about that. It's about being able to talk about anything. Conversations bring light to conversations that need to be spoken about. Um, asking questions, you know, it's not about the there. The whole Dear God Are We There Yet is about just now in this moment and being, you know, one, like having conversations like humans, you know. And so I, I wanted to talk today about... Uh, Wow, I want to talk about a lot of stuff always, right? Every time I come. Um, but last week we had a guest on the show that really talked about, you know, these roadblocks in our mind and stuff. But have you ever, y tú me dices a mí si tú te piensas así, like, have you ever just been so tired of, like, of it all? Like, dear God, I am so tired of it all. Like, I am tired of it all. Sometimes I get like that. Like, I'll have so much energy, tanta energía, but I said algo, and I'm not tired. I'm not talking about tired because I have a new baby. It has nothing to do with that because, you know, um, naturally you're going to be tired. But I'm talking about tired of like, like the world, the world. Let me, let me rephrase this. I don't want you guys to think that I'm just soy loca, deprimida, whatever. It's just like, are you tired sometimes of like the things that happen in the world? And we talked about this in the last podcast, how we can't. We can only try to see what we can control and what can we do for our own selves. But look, nosotros somos humanos. Nosotros somos, no, nosotros, we're, we're humans. You know, tenemos la, la, la mente que, 
alguna vez estamos cansados. We're tired of it all. Like tired of the rat race. Tired of the the de- you know the the bureaucratic crap of the world. Tired of whatever the government goes through. We're tired of it. It's tired. Sometimes it's tiresome to phone the television, turn on TV, and you just see like nothing but crap. You're tired of it. You know. Um, something that's mentally tired or mentally drained in, you know, um, you're trying to do something or you're trying to figure out something and you don't know how to quite do it and it's, and it's just annoying sometimes. Like, it's, it's okay to be tired. Dear God, it's okay to be tired, right? I don't know exactly what's going to be the, um, you know, the little headline of today's podcast, but let me tell you something. It is so okay to be tired sometimes. Like, you don't always have to be on. And me, I live in Wonderland sometimes. Yo vivo and a unicorn. And and I get tired sometimes. But I get tired of just like, you know, I don't know. I, I sit back and I think about, you know, when I did consulting. And I was tired of like just the hustle and bustle of that. And I loved working with my clients. I mean, my fashion clients were awesome. But I was just tired of like the sales pages and the landing pages and the you know, and the opt-in forms, and the analytics, and the SEO, and I was, en un punto, that you're just tired, you're tired of all the little things that, that make up whatever it is without you just saying, you know what, I just want to say this, and I just want to do this, like, I feel like nowadays, when it comes to business, there's so much stuff you have to do, that it's not even the real stuff, it's not even the important stuff, it's, It's all this junk and gunk to get to the good stuff, if that makes any sense to anyone. Um, And it's not just business. It can be anything that you want to do. Like, I remember, you know, if you're creative and you just want to create, you create. Yeah, that's all. You create. Um, There's nothing to it. You just create, (laughs) you know. Um, But now it's like you have to create and you have to think of all the 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 steps that comes with the creating that has nothing to do with creating but it has to do with it if that makes any sense at all si te estoy confundiendo piénselo bien rewind porque estoy diciendo algo que todo el mundo lo piensa and one time in your life you guys all we all think of this and so last week we had a guest and we talked about these roadblocks in our mind and some of them were put there Um, Some of them are things that they're not, you you just come in your mind. And then there's things about life that you just get tired. Like, you just get tired of stuff. Like, I saw this thing and it's like, adulting is, why did I ever want to, like, grow up so quick? I don't think I naturally did, but maybe I did. And I was like, oh, I can't wait till I'm a grown-up. Remember those days? Well, $20 for an adult is like a dollar, right? So you, you already clearly know that that was in the first part of being cool as an adult. You got bills, okay, that wasn't cool about it. You got responsibilities. My point is, it's okay to be tired. It's okay to, and I talk about this in my book, like, it's okay to take a rest stop. Um, If you feel like you always have to be on, 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 I always felt in the fashion industry, I always felt like I had to be on, 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 because the fashion industry is very fast-paced. It is something... It is one of the most fast-paced industries I think I've ever experienced um, besides technology, but at least technology has a little bit more planning. It, has, it, it takes time for you to develop and do some, something. Um, but with, with uh, fashion, there's seasons. They're going, either you're there, you're not. Seasons are going to come and go, and they're always ahead of time. So that doesn't take like, you know, uh, five years to do a you know, collection. If you're in the fashion industry, you are going to be creating every season. And that makes one tired, right? That makes one say like, oh my gosh, like this is so exciting. You get a high and an adrenaline. I think that's what I got a high and an adrenaline from it because I loved it. I did it for so many years. And sometimes I even I tell myself like, gosh, maybe I should go back to fashion. I'm like, no. Because that's not, just because you've done one thing doesn't mean you can't try other things or your life consists of just that one thing. Because I've learned not being in the fashion industry, I've learned so many other things about myself. But I also learned that it's okay to be tired. It's okay to, you know, not have all the answers. Like, you don't have to have all the answers of when you're going to get there, how you're going to get there, where you're going to go, and da 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 and this person, this is where, and 
we are so goal driven and I'm so goal driven and that kind of hinders our expectations and then we go back into the cycle where we're making our own selves tired so I've been tell- telling myself taking a, an own stance with the dear God are we there yet the podcast and just everything with dear God are we there yet I'm literally putting it out there and in, in, in manifesting what I want just based on my feelings my emotions just based on how I want to help people just based on I want to connect with people and I don't need to know today, tomorrow, the next day exactly how that's going to happen because I know that if I do that, it's going to create this, it's going to make me more tired. And we do that. So if you guys are like me and maybe you're listening and you're the type of person like me that you like, oh my God, I have to do this and I have to go and I have to that and I got to, and I want to buy a house and I want to buy a car and I want to, and I want to, if you do that, you are going to get more tired. You got to take a rest stop. You got to take a break. And you got to look and see why am I putting all these like deadlines and all these things on myself? And if you're one person on the other hand who is like, "No, Alicia, I do need metas. I need goals. I need to be on top of it. I'm not really doing nothing." You still need to take a break too. Because what's going to happen is that that is not your norm. And so what you're going to get into this, oh my God, I got to do this. And, I, and it's not going to be who you are. Uh, you're going to overwhelm yourself, which you're going to get more tired. That's why they say that, you know, in life, it's, it's not about a race. There's no race. It's like a marathon. And you notice if you've ever ran a 5K or any type of race, I'll never forget my first race that I ran in, um, in Spain. And it was a 5K, and I was like, first of all, I don't know why I signed up for it, but I knew that if I, if I signed up for it, that means I would have had to really get ready for it because I know myself. Like, I'm not gonna sign up for something and be like, I'm a quitter. Hell no, that's not me. Like, honestly, <laughs> I might not come in first, but I'm not quitting. That's just me. You know, a lot of things in my life, I haven't succeeded in them, but I did them. <laughs> I didn't quit. So that's just my personality. So. When I ran that race, I told myself, how am I going to strategically, in my mind, run this race without one, passing up, passing out, y muriéndome. And every time I think about it, it is a marathon. It is something that you have to learn when to ramp up, and you have to learn how to take a break. And it doesn't mean you have to stop. It means you can jog. It means you can walk fast. It can mean you can, you know, you don't always have to be running. And so if you're tired at this moment, you know, with everything going on in your life and you're just tired, you're just like, you have this like pile, right? Of all these things, like Marie Kondo says, you have to get rid of them and what brings you joy. And sometimes what brings you joy is honestly, is just sitting your ass down, cogiendo una pausa y pensándolo bien lo que tú quieres. Like just sitting down and just being like, I need this break. Like I don't need to be influenced by anyone or anything. If that means getting off of social media for a month because you, we are easily influenced. We don't know it, but we are. That's just the human mind Um, on all kinds of things. That's why advertisers are taking over right now on every part of where we are, where we're speaking and we're thinking. Next thing you know, you're like seeing it because that's just, that's where our world is going. So if you need to take a pause and get off of social media, you need to take a pause and say, you know what, for the next month, I'm not really going to go out with my friends or really um, have pe- connect with people or maybe do the opposite and say, you know what, the, for the next month, I am going to make an effort to go out and just meet random people to just like, just talk like strangers or whatever. Like whatever it is that you feel that you need, it's important for you to understand that it can consist of taking a break of taking a break mentally, emotionally, taking a break at that moment so that you're able to say, I'm ready to conquer whatever it is because I've taken a break and I probably talk about this a lot in my podcast about taking breaks but this particularly um you know it, it came into my mind more as I'm getting older um I'm telling myself I'm actually going back to my book that you're gonna be there yet and reading that chapter really put a lot into perspective because you can read something anytime in your life and it will be completely different You can read The Secret, you can read Maureen uh, Williamson, you can read, um, oh my God, uh, Eckhart uh, Eckhart Tolle, yo ni puedo decir ese ese nombre, Um, Eckhart Tolle, Tolle? 
you know what I'm talking about, you guys. Um, but you can read all these different books, and I promise you that at the day, at the end of the day, va ser diferente. You're in a different part of your life, so it's, you're going to obtain that information a little bit differently because you are evolving. And since we are evolving as people, we have to learn how to know how to take a break, like pause, take a break. It's great to have goals. It's great to have ambitions. It's great to have those things. But when when we can't find balance. Sometimes taking a pause is better than saying, how can I balance this? Because the reality is, can we really balance something? I don't know. I don't know, because life is not really a seesaw. I mean, I don't think that you can evenly 50-50 balance something. Something will take a little slighter than the other. But if you slow down and you take a pause, then you can evaluate more a little bit differently of what you want or what you, or what you thought you want, you don't really want, like we talked about last week. So what are we tired of? Like, dear God, what what are we tired of as humans? Are we tired? You know, are we tired of what's going on in the world and how that affects us? Um, are we tired of, of, of feeling a certain way and not knowing where that feeling is coming from? Um, are we tired because we can't do something and it just exhausts us mentally? Um, are we tired of that, you know, we work in the, maybe you work in a job that you absolutely despise and you're just there because you're just like, I need the security, but is it really security? Are you tired of the rat race that we all are a part of a rat race? Like we really are. It doesn't matter which rat race you're in. Of course, some of them are a lot more, um, a lot more glamorous. Of, uh, no, I wouldn't even say glamorous. I would say a, l- a l- little bit less stressful, but there is probably most likely another side of stress to it. Um, I was just talking to my wife the other day because I was talking, to, I always talk to her about Basso and Cafe, what I had in, um, and my mom actually owns a lake location now in Minnesota, but I had a location in Florida and I absolutely loved it. And I said to her, like, I absolutely loved having that business. It was one of the most successful businesses I've ever done um, besides Favela Designs or even fashion as a business is that actually I learned so much it was so successful but I grew too fast and it, it is a good problem but it, again the second word into that sentence is it's a problem and what happened it, it grew out of control out of my hands and what it did what it left me with it left me with not being able to ever leave that place without feeling like oh my god I'm not there oh my god I have customers that I hire the right people you know thank god for my mom she was like the best employee ever because she helped me more than anything but I was alone I was alone in there because it was my passion it was my dream I had the I had that motivation for it and I had that passion and my mom did too um and I can't buy someone with the same passion that I do I have like you just can't do that and so you tell yourself like wow I should have taken a pause there was one trip that I went to California and my my really good friends were saying hey you know you you before you go into the summer which was I will never forget my really good friend Derek said he's like you need to evaluate where you stand like I know you're really successful with this right now but Maybe you should take a pause and reevaluate and like don't do the summer coming up. Like maybe you should reevaluate of changing locations or doing something or, you know, and I was just like, but I can't let these kids down and da 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 and I'm the only location and all this stuff. And I let my emotion without telling myself, you know what, you need to take a pause and you need to take a break because it's all not, you know, and I didn't listen to my friend, obviously, because sometimes we don't even listen to our friends, and then we're like, "Damn, they were right, right?" When they know, they know us, the, they know us, and they love us, so they're gonna tell us how it is, regardless. Like, if you have friends that tell you the way it is, and they don't get upset, um, and they can say later, like, "Dang, man, you were right." They're good friends. I'm ta- I'm sorry, they're good friends. Your good friends are not supposed to just tell you everything you want to hear and be all nice and blah blah blah. Um, because how is that a real relationship of a friendship? But anyways, I should have taken a break. And so I'm telling you guys that we see that now in hindsight and you're like, well, then I wouldn't have had everything that I have now. or I wouldn't have experienced everything after that. The point is not to go back. The point is to use that as an example in your life and say, wow, where can, is this the same situation I am in? 
And so I give you guys that it, it, I'm t- we're talking today in, in the podcast today because sometimes we need to take a break. Just take a break or slow down. Like just slow down and, you know, take your car on the side of the road and the rest stop. And I'm saying car analogy of your life. <laughs> and think about it and say, you know what? I know that I have to do this today. I know I have to do this tomorrow. I know that I have obligations, but I'm going to do something that I have not done. You know, something very little that is not part of your schedule. You know, maybe take a day off, literally off of work for one whole day and, um, and do something. And you're like, well, I can't afford to take off it. Yes, you can, because you will figure it out because your human mind and your human being will do that. Just slow down. And so I just wanted to make this quick podcast today to talk about slowing down and then, you know, and dear God, should I slow down? Should I go faster? Should I do? No, maybe taking a break as far as like from those emotions, those expectations, uh, a rest stop where you can reevaluate and look at it from a different point of view. Because I promise you, if you're like me, you probably see things and you're like, wow, I didn't see that coming. Yo no vi eso. I didn't see that coming at all. And it's because you're so in the head of your, your, your head's in the game that you're just said, te olvida. You're just like, you're going to be in tunnel vision. You're going to forget that there's like a pothole there, but you're going to see a beautiful road. You're going to forget all these things because your mind is telling you what you want it to see. So again, I want you guys, thank you again for listening. And when I'm telling you this, it's not necessarily that I might be going through, you know, the, these things in my mind that I that I'm, I'm talking about it's because you know I have friends I have family I have you know um, my life and these are things that I know that a lot of people are thinking about and they're talking about it and they don't they don't they maybe don't want to talk about it to their circle of friends or they don't want to they don't know where to go or want to be like yeah you know what I need a break or wow this thing the thing that I've been meaning to hear so if this is something you needed to hear, I hope it kind of helped you to know that everything that you want in life is going to be possible and it's going to do it, but it has its time and it doesn't mean that you rushing and going crazy and killing yourself <laughs> doing it is going to make it come faster because that's not how it works. And if you need, if you're one that needs a push, then your rest stop is taking a rest stop from your, the life that you have where you think that, you know, um, if you're doing the same thing expecting different results yeah that might not work for you maybe you do need to do something a little bit different and your rest stop is a little bit different from someone who's on 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 all right you guys thank you so much for listening to the podcast until next time i'm dying to do a panel so if you guys want to be on a panel i have a couple of um of questions that i think people or would love to hear you go ahead and email me at hello at dear god are we there yet.com um, and uh, I would love to get a, a panel on the show, but I would like, so I don't know. We might have a panel next time. <laughs> All right, until next time, don't forget to check, check out the YouTube channel where I talk about budgets and business, passion to, pa- passion to empower, and self-growth. Hasta la próxima. Adios.